feels like I'm forever in the hallway, but here I am again in the hallway, and this time I'm going to talk to you about how to actually finish an assignment. So I'm going to go directly into a classroom. Yes, I can click on my assignments from in here, but like I said, um, it's always smart to go right into the classroom and make sure you get your updates. So I would make that a habit if I were you. This is kind of just one of those daily reminders that these are things that you need to do. So to complete an assignment or a work for your class, um, you're going to need to, uh, as your choice and as your plan, um, choose the work that you're most interested in completing. And for example, I am going to go in and um, we have had a meeting at this point. As a pretend student, we've had a meeting and we have talked about our online grace and courtesy and now I have to do a follow-up form. My assignment here says we'll meet as a community and learn about grace and courtesy as a digital citizen. Then you'll practice each of these expectations we discussed and practice them in the Google form to turn in for your assignment. So now I know that from this, practic from this um, shelf of grace and courtesy, I'm going to pull this work, which is a form. It pulls it up in a different window. It says, Online Greatest Grace and Courtesy Expectations is the title. After you have read the Online Grace and Courtesy Expectations, complete this form and hit the submit and send um, it to your submit. Oof. We'll fix that before you guys get to this assignment. But <laughs> the directions can get better than that, I promise. So after you read the Online Grace and Courtesy Expectations, complete this form and hit send to submit it to your class. Um, so as we submit this to our class, um, if you see a mistake, should you edit someone's work? So we know that everyone's work, just like on a work rug, belongs to them. We don't, we, we step around it and we respect that space and we respect work, the work that it is. So unless our teacher directions tell us to do that, no, we definitely should not. Who do you contact if you see anything that feels uncomfortable? Sometimes you might read something or see something that you think, ooh, this is not what's appropriate for our online grace and courtesy. Um, expectations, we always know that you should tell a teacher or an adult. So I'll answer that question there. According to the document, what do you do if you do not understand an assignment? Be specific and use text evidence. So in your meetings, you'll be going over this with your teachers, but we know that there's a three before me that we have to follow. Ooh, sorry about that. There's a three before me and the quick guidebook for students. That's how I can get help. What hours are teachers available online for live help? Our answer here, we can answer this and say, we need to look at the chart and know the hours for each teacher. Again, I'm answering this very generic because this will be very specific to each classroom. Which expectations is the most different online when compared to how you would show it in the classroom? Um, so children can have any kind of answer to this, but um, we're not in a classroom. That's the biggest difference. And so because we're not in a physical classroom, there's no shelves. I'm being pretty generic. I know our students will have way better answers. And then I agree to put forth my best efforts in grace and courtesy while working online in my Montessori environment. Yes, I'm ready to be a digital citizen at IMS, and I'm going to click Submit for my form. So this is my form that is submitted. It's done, but it hasn't been selected as turned in in the classroom. So I'm going to go back over to my Classwork tab, and I'm going to click to view my assignment. Only when you click there are you able to mark it as done. Only when you click there are you able to mark it as done. When it is marked as done, it means your teacher receives it. So just because you have submitted this form does not mean that your teacher has been notified that it is finished work. This form is edited. I'm going to use it, I might make up a word, is editable. So meaning you can edit this form if you feel like you can change your answer throughout the week. Just like with any Montessori work, you can choose to come back to it. So it's not until you hit the mark as done button 
that you are officially finished with this assignment, okay? If you're still questioning um, a piece of the assignment, you're not sure, you can always add a private comment to your teacher here about that. But once you click mark as done, that is when your assignment is finished. I'm gonna mark this assignment as done, and it will prompt me. Um, you didn't attach any work for online grace and courtesy, so your teacher will just see that it is done. And that's okay, because this is a form that I filled out, so once the teacher knows, okay, he's submitted his work and he's ready, she'll go in, or he'll go in, and look at this form. Now, just like a Montessori environment, you might go, oh, wait a minute, I forgot, I want to do something. So I can unsubmit it and take it back from my teacher and say, I wasn't ready yet, sorry, and fix a mistake if I have a mistake. For example, in my form here, I didn't uh, do some of my best work, I would say. My, my form could have had more complete sentences. It could have um, had a lot more happening. So I can always go back in and rework that work. So this is how you work an assignment. And as a recap, the most important things to consider when you're in looking for assignments is briefly update and make sure you're not late on anything or won't be late on anything. Go to your classwork here. Choose the shelf that you would like to work on first. Find the work that you would like to do. Click on the actual assignment to take you in. Once you click on the actual assignment, that is where you get your mark is done. You can talk to your teacher and you can add uh, or you can access any of the work that you need to complete. And that is how you finish a Montessori work online.